Hey, what's up, guys? It's Flux. Um, got something new in here. Want to go over Machine Micro? I want to show why it's not necessarily a bad thing to only have one screen on Machine. Machine Micro uses a new feature called the Nav button, which is this little guy right up in here. Um, Basically, the nav button makes your pads act as your second screen so that you can quickly jump between different modules and different parts of the machine software without really needing a whole second screen just to see what you're doing. Um, we're going to show you that, and I'm going to show you a few other things that I really like about it. Uh, one thing that I found that I really like about this unit is the pads. The pads on the micro as opposed to the pads on the M1, which I have right here. Um, the M1 pads almost have a kind of tacky feeling to them. Um, they, they, it's kind of sticky. If you try to rub your finger across it, uh, your finger will kind of grab hold of it. Whereas on the, on the Micro, they're, they're a little bit smoother. Um, they're, they're a smoother, soft touch kind of feel to them. They didn't really change the, the density of the pad, so it still feels good and firm when you hit it and you get a good drum strike, but the actual uh, touch of the pad feels a little bit softer on your fingertips, which is nice if you do a lot of finger drumming and um, get really hectic with it like I like to get. Uh, so that's, that's a big improvement in my opinion. Uh, I, I really hope that they start putting that on just all the machine products. Uh, also is the... USB port. The USB port on here now is a locking USB port uh, like they did on the Complete Audio 6, which is what I'm recording through right now. Um, the M1, I, I tend to find that it's it can be really easy to pull out the cord. Um, I've got two different M1s, and um, one of them, the cord will come out really easy on it. You have to be careful with it, especially in a live situation. Um, these new ones have no problems whatsoever. I mean, it, it's just really snug, and you feel a nice click when you put it in there, so you know that you're not going to have a problem later on. Uh, so, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and jump into just a few things on how to use the nav button and how to jump through groups and to show you that basically it is machine, full-featured, um, for a good bit less money and... Uh, a good bit less space so if you're like me and you, and you like to make beats sitting on your couch or if you like to make beats on the road um, I'm I'm constantly bringing just my laptop I mean check this out I'll put micro in my laptop bag and MPK or I'm sorry LPK 25 and I mean they both fit right in my laptop bag right in my laptop bag right next to uh, my controller and uh, my laptop and I have no problems to show you so uh, the way that micro works without using a second screen the nav button nav button is your friend in the sense that all you have to do is press nav and your pads become a screen your pads become your hotkeys um, when you press the nav button what it does is it gives you quick access to the different um, the different modules and their parameters that you would normally see in the second screen on machine. So, if I, for instance, I'm on a drum group right now. And you can hear that I have a maximizer and a beat delay on there. So if I want to mess with that beat delay, all I have to do is go to my modules. All the modules are right here. One, two, three, four. One is my maximizer. Two is my beat delay. So if I want to go to maximizer, I just touch that beat delay here. Then to get to the parameters, I just touch down here. Very easy to get to. Um, another another quick thing about this is that when you're holding down the nav button, if you press left and right, you can also scroll through parameters more in depth that way as well. Um, so if there's more than four parameters there, you just press this way and it's going to show you the extra ones inside of that specific parameter for instance delay has the time and it also has the offset so I can go between those two right there alright now because I selected the second one which is offset if I go here 
I can see my output stereo. And if I go back to here, I'm back at my time. And then I can go to offset. So very simple to get through all your different parameters. If you press the button while, while not holding down nav, you're going to uh, scroll through the actual parameters themselves. So if I highlight the first parameter, which is 2, which is the module that I'm on, scroll it backwards, I'm going to go back to my first module, which is my maximizer. Okay, if I scroll it again, you'll see beat delay. And then I can go over here to the delay, and you can see me scroll through. And if I want to adjust um, the time, I can... If I want to adjust my offset, I can go over here. Very easy. Um, also, you have your, your group button is a little bit different now. Groups are here. You just hold down group, and then your pads will light up blue, and that'll show you your corresponding groups. So to just jump through and select your mutings and whatnot you'll notice that when I hit mute it's just staying in the group mode so that I can mute my groups no problem that's because of the new pinning feature if I want to get to the actual pads inside of that group I can hit the group button again with mute there I am pads so I can just go ahead and mute out those <laughs> easy to you know get into your mutes everything is pretty much laid out the same way as m1 except now you have your navigate button to help you deal with not having that second screen um, you don't have a, a real way of doing your auto write um, the auto write is going to be done using the mouse the same way you would have done it um, with the m1 using the mouse other than that everything else is pretty much the same it's it's very straightforward the new pads feel excellent with the softer touch to them, and the locking USB is just great. Um, overall, I love it. I mean, at this price point, I think um, I think there's going to be a lot more machine users out there. The software is the exact same as the M1 software, so you get all the great features that you are already getting. So I look forward to see what else is coming from Native Instruments because this is um, this is really making me happy. So if you're a uh, if you're a machine one user and you want to pick up one of these uh, one cool thing that you can do is set this to MIDI mode and when you set this to MIDI mode just set it to a channel and then um, set a drum group to that same channel and that drum group will always be controlled by these new softer nicer pads uh, while you can still do all your transport and knob tweaking from your M1 so that's pretty cool that's a nice that's a nice uh, way to do it if you have both um, but, you know, if I'm sitting in my car or I'm up on my couch or whatever, if, I'm, if I just want to lounge around or sit in bed and make beats, I take this thing out and, uh, and I, do it, uh, I do it portable. So it's pretty nice.